hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to grow parsley i'm going to be sharing with you tips on how you can grow high amounts of parsley in your garden whether you're growing them in the vertical bags in containers or even on a piece of land there are two main varieties that you can select in a kenyan environment and even across the grove one of them is the curly parsley like its name has curly leaves it is mainly used for decoration purposes it has a dwarf nature so it does not grow tall the second type is the italian parsley which has flat leaves it is highly preferred for cooking because it has a robust flavor giving your food a romantic flavor so for you to germinate the seeds properly you have to soak them in warm water for at least 24 hours the best climate or the best temperatures for you to grow parsley is 21 degrees celsius so it prefers to grow in a warm environment but it can also thrive in cold temperatures too you sow the seeds in containers in seed trays or even on a piece of land whereby you make a bed you sow the seeds in six to eight inches apart and then the germination period will take at least three to four weeks parsley are in the same family like carrots and uh, celery which have been known to take a long time to germinate so soaking them in water will help to reduce the germination period and if you're going to transplant or to get your seedlings from a different location from yours make sure that you allow them to stay in the containers or in the seed trays for at least a week so that they can get accustomed to the new environment which will reduce the transplant shock that plants experience when they are transplanted in a new environment and also increase the survival rate so you can grow parsley on a piece of land you can also grow them on uh, containers or pots and you can also grow them in growing bags these are the examples of a multi-story garden or a vertical bag which you can buy from real ipm when you're growing your parsley in containers the larger the container the better because parsley produce a lot of tap roots which go deeper in the soil so for you to encourage the roots development choose at least a 12 inch container to grow a lot of roots so when you're growing the parsley in the garden make sure you make compost by having 40 percent garden soil 20 percent cocoa peat and 30 percent cow manure vermin compost or any other homemade compost that you could be having the reason we are adding cocoa peat is to ensure that we have a good uh, water retention capacity because they like to thrive in a moisturized environment so for you to ensure that the parsley have a moisturized environment throughout their growing period cocoa peat keeps water for a long period of time and it is going to help you to retain water especially for people growing parsley in containers you should plant your parsley in a partly shaded area because they require to have direct sunlight for six to eight hours for the people in the dry and arid areas you have to water your uh, parsley daily just to keep the place moisturized ensure that the containers that you're going to have have drainage holes so in case you're going to water your plants excessively the water is going to come out from the bottom of the container through the drainage holes the best way to water your plants is by drip irrigation system but if you do not have a drip irrigation system you can actually use the overhead irrigation system but make sure you also spray fungicides so that you can avoid having fungal infection after every 15 days you make sure that you add compost to your parsley especially for a person growing the parsley in a container this will ensure that the parsley will have good amount of uh, nitrogen it also requires phosphorus potassium calcium so for you to ensure that you have the right amount of nutrients make sure that you add uh, compost in your garden every other 15 days during the transplanting period make sure that you add phosphorus when you dig the holes for you to add the compost or for you to put the parsley transplants make sure that you add phosphorus in those holes so that it can be in direct contact with roots because phosphorus encourages proper root development the best source for phosphorus is the bone meal powder which can be found in agrovets or even in the store selling animal feeds 
the kilogram goes for 50 shillings and uh, so you can buy it on the number of plants that you have phosphorus is very important in the immune system of the plant by increasing resistance against diseases remember if you take care of your crops during the growth period you're going to be harvesting for a longer period and you're going to be harvesting quality crops proper pest control the major pests that affect parsley are the aphids the ants and the mealybugs and also the cutworms which they eat the plants stock and they prevent them from developing for you to prevent you spray neem oil every week if you have the infestation already to ensure that the plants are not affected by ants aphids or the mealybug main diseases that affect parsley are the leaf blight leaf spots and a crown or root rot which is uh, mostly affected when the plants are waterlogged you only put the right amount of water that which makes the soil moist but not waterlogged uh, you can also use fungicides such as regain from real ipm to control the leaf blight leaf spots to sustain to control the crown root rot caused by nematodes make sure that you prevent your Firstly, from getting the fungal infections by spraying the fungicides before the rains and immediately after the rains. And all, if there is too much rain, make sure that you spray even in between the rainy seasons. You ensure that you give the plants time like two hours before the rains such that it is going to be protected from the diseases. Remember to grow the parsley separately from the carrots, cereally, because they are in the same family. So they are likely to share the same diseases with uh, celery. You can avoid planting parsley in the same area to increase the chances of growing a lot of crops without having problems with the fungal infections. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Anything that you might want me to reflect on, I'll be glad to read them. Till next time, bye bye.